templates here for making the uh, 3D Christmas trees. Now you can use these in many, many different ways. I'm going to help. You're going to be able to go and have a look at some of the dems, giving you a few ideas. But if I just go through, this is your basic pattern, your template. This comes in various sizes. I'll show you how to use that in a minute. Where you've got dotted lines, you crease. Where you've got strong lines, they you cut out. So you've got that type. So you print those out as many times as you want. And you've also got the base there to match in size. Then you've also got this version, if you so wish. It's exactly the same as the one you've just seen, but it's also, you crease down the dotted line here, but you've also got all these main lines. Now that means you can create an aperture. So when you put your four sides together, you can see right through it. And that depends here whether you cut this one or the next one. You can decide on the size of aperture that you want. The next type of template are the templates which are already pre uh, you, the, you print them out with the designs on that you want and what you've also got here you've got the lines the dotted lines and basically I'll show you how to do that in a minute but you just crease along here crease along here cut it out now you can have it double sided if you want you can print on the back whichever design you want so that when you open it out you get a combination of the colours now I'll show you the, the different techniques so this is your basic technique, same technique, whatever size you print out. I've got some paper on the back here or card. I've just stuck it with a little bit of masking tape here just to keep it in position. And basically this is what you do with every one. You've got the dotted lines here and you just crease from end to end. Just a, a little line, don't worry, you've got your mat underneath. Don't do it too hard, you don't need to. That means when you fold it, it will it will crease exactly where you want it. So you do along here, you do along here as well, and then basically all you do is cut it out. So there you can see I've cut that out now. That can come off the top. You can use that time and time again if you want to. And then this is already pre-creased as you can see and you just fold over where you've creased all of the edges like that. And you've also got the base there that can fold over too. So you do four of those for each of the trees and so you can mix the colours if you want, uh, whatever. If you want them to have an aperture in then you'll print out the template that's got the apertures. You do exactly the same. But on this case, I'm going to do one which is, uh, just, let me just see, because I've got one already cut out. There you go, I've got one there. I want to make sure I choose the right size. And it's the, it's two in. So it's one, two, three, the size that I want. I've already stuck it down. So then you just cut it out and you go one, two, three, and you cut out the aperture first. The next template are the ones that you can uh, print out and it's ready. You print it on a card. I've got a 160 card here. If you want, you can leave it plain on the back, but I like to mix and match them here so they look really good. And before you cut it out, obviously, you've got the two lines here. You just run across there. You've got my embossing tool and you just score down there. It only needs a light touch and then the opposite side. And then all you've got to do is cut that out. Now I've cut out four of these pieces here as you can see and I've folded them all going the right way. So there's one, two, three, four. Now I've also got two bases. Now I've cut out one in green and I also cut out one in red. I'm going to turn the red one over so that's on the base there. And then basically all we're doing now is we're going to be sticking these down. So that folds back that way. And basically all you do is line it up to each of the edges here so a little bit of glue all the way along each of these edges here and then if you just butt the back of the card there up to there get it in position exactly where you want it fold that over and then you've just got a little bit of time just to make sure that's in the right place which it is and that's stuck down there. Now you just have to repeat that on all of the different ones. It's good to do the first two here first, opposite each other.
Now if this tree is going to be opening, say you're going to put presents inside, you want the inside to look a bit nicer too. So I printed out one of the squares as you saw, saw before and I'm just going to glue that onto the inside. So all the sides then are covered and there's no white bits showing. Just put that over there nicely. Make sure it all folds in perfectly like so and that's fine and just let that that let that just stick down and while you're waiting for that to dry what i like to do is make a little hole in here where i put the ribbon to bring it together you can stick it all together and make it solid but i find it's quite handy if you can dismantle your christmas decoration so you get a flat pack basically and i've got one of these you can choose whichever you want it's a little hole punch try and get in exactly the right place each time to make a little hole there ready for the for the um, ribbon to go through. Now you can use one piece of ribbon to thread in and out but it always looks a bit messy when I do that so I use two pieces of ribbon and first of all I'll go through the first hole there and bring that together and then I go through the next one on the opposite side make sure I've got equal lengths and then just gently pull that together like that and then you can tie it off. When you've tied it off then you're going to be able to it'll bring it together and it'll make it stand up nicely. So right, you've got to bend these over as well. So that goes there like that, just a little ribbon. And that hangs down there, that just holds those in position. You've got to fold those in as well, don't forget. So they look, they're sticking on the outside there like that. And that's just a question of taking your next piece of ribbon and threading it through too. This time it goes inside, underneath, and then into your next one. And that will pull them all together then. And I think it's much neater this way, but obviously you can do it any way you want. And then you just tie that into a bow. And that all comes together neatly. Now if you want to put a present in there you only have to undo one of the bows and then you can use red or whatever colours you want. I think they'll look quite nice with that. And you see you've got these here, these little flaps and you can open these more to create more of a 3D effect. Now there's an alternative you can do, in fact with this template there's lots and lots of different ways of using it. This is an alternative way to do it, to fold it. Use it as like a hanging Christmas tree on, a, on an ornament or you could have a little candle in it and have, well, an, a battery operated candle. So first thing you do is fold those two together. And then instead of bringing these two up, you actually flip it over and take them that way so you're creating like an ornament that can hang. And again, you're just going to put your ribbon through the other two holes there at the top and just join them together. And then you have opened these up a little bit, make them nice and neat and tidy. But then you've got one that you can hang and you could even put a little battery operated candle there as well. Now I've done exactly the same. This is one of the aperture ones though. And it's exactly the same. You just thread it up with some ribbon and just pull it together and bring them together and seal them. So 
So there you can see my Aperture Christmas tree is now finished. I've opened these up a little bit, it's almost like an upside down heart here. You can make them in various sizes and colour combinations, whatever you want. I think this would be great with one of the battery operated uh, candles in there. You can make big ones, you can make the smaller ones, any size you want. I've got this nice combination here of these this colour scheme in this kind of olive green and purple. Uh, you can even also, if you want, just use two sides. So you've only got two sides and they look really good as well. Make sure you have a good look at the gallery to get loads of more ideas on how to use these beautiful Christmas trees.